What are three ways that 3D printing can make your dental practice better? Hey, I'm Dr. Chris Griffin, founder of the 3D Printing Association for Dentists, and this is the video series to explain to you how 3D printing will make your practice better. Hello and welcome. Now before we dive in, I would love it if you guys would subscribe to this channel. So make sure you're subscribed so you can continue receiving this video or these videos. We're going to be making a lot of these videos in the coming days, weeks, months, and years because our mission is to, to help you understand and improve the way your practice runs just by how 3D printing can, can make, that, make that better, right? So uh, also, if you guys want to give us a thumbs up, it makes it a lot easier for dentists to find these videos when they're looking for information on how to make 3D printing fit their dental practice. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, what are three ways that 3D printing can make your dental practice better? Number one, well, that's the big one, right? It lowers costs. Um, there's a lot of ways it lowers costs, okay? Uh, the simplest way to say it lowers costs is, well, right now, what do you pay? What is your lab bill for certain things? Okay, two of the biggest money savers in all this 3D printing stuff are uh, clear liners and dentures. So dentures, you know, that's not that big a savings, but it's pretty big. Like, what are you paying currently for your denture from a lab for an upper arch? You know, I think we pay $383 an arch, something like that. Well, if you're doing a 3D printed denture, your cost is going to go down to $25, bucks, close to that. So you're saving a ton of money every time you're doing a denture. Well, that's okay. You're like, okay, what's the 3D printer has some front end cost. Now it's not nearly as much as what it used to be when we all got into CAD CAM, stuff like that. But it, you know, it's a little cost. But what about, say, clear aligners? If that's something you do in your practice, are you an Invisalign provider, a clear correct provider, um, stuff like that? I know, and I am for both, have been for a long time. Since the beginning, I went to some of the first classes they had for Invisalign. And I was paying you know, $1,800, $2,000. I paid for some advanced cases more than that for Invisalign lab fees. Um, and so when we started 3D printing our own models to make clear liners on and we learned how to do it and it turned out to be a lot simpler than we thought in the beginning. Uh, now we're, we're doing cases start to finish anywhere from $100 to $300 total overhead. Okay, so the total cost for us is that. So we're saving, you know, $1,500 bucks plus uh, per case. Some big cases you might save $2,000. So those are just to straight straight up cost savings, right? That's like tangible. This is what I used to pay. This is what I'll pay once I start 3D printing. That's a big savings. Also, um, your 3D printer might become the most reliable employee you have, right? So uh, I'm not saying that you would want to dismiss an employee, but when you get 3D printed starting, uh, the 3D printer really becomes a very reliable employee. You know, they're always on time. They're always producing all day long. And, um, and it takes the place of money that you would have spent with the lab, right? So it's just a really, really big savings in cost. Okay, that's number one. Number two, it improves the patient experience. Uh, so how, so you say, Chris, how does it improve the patient experience? Well, so if you're a patient in the chair, and you come into the dentist and maybe you've got some crooked lower teeth and the dentist says, hey, would you be interested in clear aligners? And you're like, sure, uh, I've always wondered about it. Tell me about it. The dentist explains it and the dentist seems very competent and knowledgeable and tells you they've done several cases and you're excited, right? Um, well, what if the dentist, you say, okay, what do I need to get started? And the dentist's like, hey, well, we could, you know, we can scan you today and it's going to be a month or something before we can actually deliver your aligners to you. Well, as the patient, you're like, okay, well, maybe, but not nearly as excited as I was. What if that same dentist could say to the patient, hey, uh, let's scan you and then we'll, we can start your case today. We can start your case tomorrow. I mean, that is to me an amazing uh, patient experience. And, and, you're, and it's just, uh, to me, that's, that's a no brainer. Uh, so, what about impressions? So to do 3D printing, you have to, you know, one of the things you also have to have is a 3D scanner, which a lot of us have nowadays. It's a much better experience than having to get the old squishy alginate or polyvinyl, uh, polyvinyl siloxane, something like that. You know, those days are over. In fact, you can get rid of all that stuff. Uh, I haven't had that stuff in my office since 2020. A little bit of PVS just for, you know, really difficult implant cases or occasional washes in a very difficult denture case. But 
for the most part, that stuff's long gone from my practice. No, no stone lab, no dust floating around. The, the place looks better. No, no grinder, no, no stuff. No, uh, so that's a, hey, that's a cost saving that I forgot to mention. You can throw all that stuff out the door. So, um, you know, the patient experience is just, is just better. Um, so the third thing I'm going to tell you about is um, how I can show you some big increases in, in case acceptance, because it really does. Now, uh, before I get to the third one, the big one about case acceptance, I want to give you guys uh, an opportunity to grab something that we've developed for you. So at uh, you know the 3D Printing Association, our website is 3dpa.org. If you go to 3dpa.org, you can grab the three checklists that we've developed in our practice for the three biggest procedures we do most of the time with 3D printing, clear liners, um, immediate dentures, and implant surgical guides. So these are checklists that we use every day in my practice, uh, step by step. And so we're, we're big on checklists and you know efficiency and stuff like that. And um, so you can grab my checklist that we've developed, and these are the same checklists we use in our boot camps and the lectures I've been doing around the country this past year. Uh, that we've given to dentists. So hundreds of dentists have, have been using these. Uh, you can grab yours for free at 3dpa.org. Just go to the website and there'll be a place there where you can enter your name and email and you'll get those checklists sent right out to you. Okay, so grab those. Now back to the third big reason that 3D printing will make your practice better. Okay, so just like we said, the time, the patient experience is better. When you can say, let's start a case today, or tomorrow, or the you know latest this week, your case acceptance numbers are just going to go up. Your big case numbers are going to go up because you're going to be doing more things like you know ortho cases. You're going to be doing more implant cases because what what you'll learn, the 3D printing is really just a gateway for improvement on so many levels. Once you start doing your own uh, 3D, uh, your own implant surgical guides, you know freehand implants are great. And we all learn that way. But once you start doing your own surgical guides and you understand you know, how they go in the bone, the best way that they come out of the bone so that your occlusal forces are correct, and you can place them so precisely with so much less surgery at the placement date, you don't have to, you know, no longer do we have to cut these big old flaps you know, and freehand into the bone. Now we can make tiny little incisions and place implants super uh, precisely and it makes the cases so much better. So you, you're gonna walk into the operatory with more confidence and you're gonna have the ability to you know, tell patients, hey, uh, we can start this case this week. It's gonna be great. And I have no, it's gonna be a much easier procedure than it was just a few years ago. Um, and so your, your numbers are gonna go up because patients are gonna, they're, they're gonna eventually, they're gonna sense your confidence. They're gonna be ready to start this week or today or tomorrow instead of 30 days from now. And, uh, and, and, and that's just, and you're, hey, you're going to be able to offer more procedures quickly. We didn't even talk about splints and stuff like that. I mean, they're so easy with 3D printing. You're going to be finding ways to do splints on so many patients. Things you would have bypassed in the past, you know, you're checking hygiene. Somebody needs an occlusal guard in the past. Maybe you're thinking, oh, they're so expensive. I don't want to mention it. You're going to be mentioning it because it's not only you can offer it at a lower price point because you're saving money, so it's better for the patient, uh, and you can do it faster you know, today, tomorrow, this week, uh, and it just makes everything flow better. So there's really, I don't think there's any way for your production to go down, right? And your quality is going to go up. So anyway, those are the three, the three ways, the, the three big ways I think that 3D printing makes your practice better. And um, once again, thank you guys for watching this. If you've subscribed, be looking for more videos because we're going to be shooting these a lot and uh, trying to get the information out because I want more dentists to understand what we have learned and how much better it can make your practice. It can actually allow you to practice the way you always thought dentistry could be. Okay? All right, guys. We'll see you next time.